Hi everyone, this is Judy, founder of Mandu Club. Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own dumpling wrapper at home. So for some of you who are do not have access to an Asian market nearby, um, here's a really easy way to make it yourself at home and get your whole uh, family involved to help you make the wrapper from scratch. So here are some of the tools that we'll need. Um, you're going to need flour, all purpose, a mixing bowl, measuring cup, measuring spoons, salt, and boiled water, along with a spatula and a cutting board. So to begin, you take two cups of flour, put it in your bowl, and half a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up together. And two thirds cup of pre-boiled water. So you'll see a lot of recipes out there using cold water. In this um, recipe, we will use hot water and that will help keep the texture of the skin a little bit more chewy and have more texture and a little bit more bite. So I'm gonna pour that in there. Mix it all up. So the goal is to turn this into a dough form, a ball in, in your bowl. And then we're gonna move it onto the surface to knead it. And afterwards, we'll let it rest. So first, I'm just mixing up my flour here. It looks like it's already coming together quite nicely. That should look like that. And then once it's somewhat forming and sticking together, you can move on to use your hands and start pushing it together to form your first um, dough ball. Um, so in the Korean word, mandu, which means dumplings, um, the wrapper is called mandu pi. So pi is the wrapper and mandu is the Korean word for dumpling. And this is something that is traditionally done with the whole family during holidays, especially during um, the Lunar New, New Year. And it's something that I really love, enjoy doing it with the whole family. And it's fun and it's delicious and anybody can do it at home. All right, so I think I have a pretty well-formed ball in my bowl and I'm gonna move it. Make sure we get all the bits in there. I'm gonna move it onto my board. And I'm gonna start kneading it. Kind of mound it together, start from the outer edge, roll it in, outer edge and roll it in. You're gonna do that for like about five minutes so that we get the structure of the dough in place before we set it to um, rest. So the yield on this dough recipe will be about 32 pieces, 32 wrappers. So you'll have plenty to enjoy while you take the class and also you'll have a lot of leftovers to have for another meal or snack or share with your friends. Um, it's really a great gift. All right, so I think my dough is somewhat formed here. And it's okay, it will look a little lumpy. All of that will kind of smooth out once it's rested. And it should feel pretty firm, shouldn't be too mushy, kind of like the texture of a Play-Doh. So that's why kids love playing with this because it feels like it's a, a Play-Doh game. <laughs> All right, so I think that looks pretty good. 
Now, the next thing you're gonna do is cover this with plastic and let it rest on your countertop for at least 30 minutes. And this will help set the dough in place before we roll it out. Um, so I'll see you back in a half an hour. Hi, this is Judy from Mandu Club. Welcome back. This is the second part of your Mandu dumpling wrapper uh, recipe. So now that you have your uh, dough rested for 30 minutes on the counter that was covered in plastic, we're now ready to um, roll it out into our wrappers. So undo the plastic wrap and kind of knead the dough with your hand. It should feel really moist, yet still firm. Kind of like the Play-Doh texture. And it'll feel a little bit more softer and rounded out without all the lumps. I don't know if you can see that here. So it's kind of softened out as it rested and the gluten has worked as magic. I'm gonna knead it a little bit more on the countertop here before we start to roll it out. A couple of things you need tools wise to get started. And um, I've given you all the prep list in advance if you signed up for the class. So a couple of things you'll need some, a quarter cup of flour for dusting, a uh, rolling pin, uh, a dough cutter, some towels, of course a butcher block or some sort of flat surface. You can use your kitchen countertop. And then have your uh, tray prepared in advance. You'll need some sort of a baking sheet and a couple of sheets of parchment paper. And this is where you're gonna put your finished wrapper and um, reserve so that it can be ready to use when you're ready to make your dumplings. All right, so I think my dough is ready and we are going to now divide this into four equal parts. And we're gonna work with each part separately, the parts that you're not using. Hide them underneath your cloth so that it doesn't dry out and it stays moist. And you can just kind of leave them in the corner right there. So with each quarter part, you're gonna roll this out into a log. Um, we want the log to be about eight inches long, between three quarter to an inch wide. So just kind of work it out from your hands here and then you can work it onto the surface as well. So from here, we're gonna able to make our individual discs that will become the dumpling wrapper. And just kind of work it out. You can kind of pull on it so that it could stretch out to meet about eight inches. I think I got mine here. And then I'm gonna cut it into eight squares, eight one inch squares. And I'm gonna take one from a, each roll and put away the rest. And now this is the really fun part. This square now, you're gonna knead it with your own fingers and start to flatten it out and turn it into a disc. And this disc, is gonna become your wrapper. Just kind of work it so that it becomes flat. Again, this is a great task for your kids to get involved. Turn it into like a flat disc. Uh, get it as flat as possible with your fingertips. But it doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna cut it out with our um, cookie cutter. All right, so that looks pretty flat. Um, let's dust some flour on your surface. 
so that we don't get anything sticky. That looks pretty good. And then I'm using a metal rolling pin. Obviously, you can use the traditional wood. Or if you don't have any of those around, you can just use a wine bottle and that works really great as well. So the trick with this is you got to start from the center of the disc and then push out and then twist it and then do the same as you get it around all evenly. And you want to, you want the size of it to be a little bit wider than your cutting vehicle, whether using a cookie cutter or a cup or any other round shape that will do the trick because you want to be able to have enough surface area to cut out your circle. Ideally, the shape should be about three and a half inches wide all around. I think mine is already there. So it'll look like this. Again, don't worry about the shape. We're gonna make that look all pretty. I couldn't find my cookie cutter, so I'm gonna use a metal cup. So let's see how that works. Push it down. I'm gonna discard the excess here. So there's a really cool recipe I'm gonna show you that's a bonus recipe using this leftover scrap. We're not wasting any material, any ingredient in this class. So keep that aside as you go along the way. And I'm going to show you something really cool you could do with that. So now, wow. So this is your first perfect homemade hand rolled dumpling wrapper. Uh, place it on your prepared tray. I uh, would dust it with a little bit of flour and then let it rest so, while you keep making more and keep it covered. So you're gonna keep doing this until you get through all sections. And again, um, that will yield about 32 dumpling wrappers. So uh, keep going and I hope you have fun and I'll see you in class soon. Hey guys, hope you had a ton of fun rolling out your own mandu wrappers. Um, I've been hard at work myself and have a whole tray ready to go. So it really definitely takes a little bit of time and effort to make your own, but I have to say they taste so much better when you make the whole thing from scratch. So if you have the extra time and effort, please do so. It will make the whole experience so much better. Um, so these are ready to go into the refrigerator until we're ready for class. They can be refrigerated overnight if you don't have the time before class. So I hope you had a wonderful time preparing for our class and I can't wait to make the Monday with you. Thanks. Bye.